4132. 4 is the obvious top placing steer in today's class because of his balance of muscle and frame size. He is followed by a logical middle pair, more moderate framed, 1 and 3. 2 is the obvious bottom placing steer in today's class because of his small frame size and light muscling. If I must fault my class winner, I would like to see him naturally stand wider at the rear. Despite this fault, 4 is the top placing steer in today's class, surpassing 1 in my top pair because he is more, has more balanced muscling over a larger frame. He is bolder sprung in his ribs, having more adequate de width and depth of rib. Finally, he is cleaner throughout his middle and rear. I will admit that one expresses more clear definition of muscling in the lower one-third, but unfortunately one stands on the weakest set of rear legs because he is sickle-hopped. Despite this unwanted trait, my when evaluating my middle pair, I prefer one over three because he displays more clear definition of muscling in his round. This muscle also ties dip down deeper into his stifle. Furthermore, he is cleaner and straighter along his top line. I will say that three has a higher potential for choice grade when slaughtered. But unfortunately, three is earlier maturing, being more moderate framed. Even so, I chose to place three above two in my bottom pair because he, expre he expresses more clear muscling throughout. He is cleaner in the middle, coupled with the fact that he has more level placement from hooks to pins. And finally, he is the easiest moving steer in today's class having more appeal when approaching and departing from me. I will say that 2 has a wider chest floor, but unfortunately 2 places last in today's class because he is small framed, narrow made, and most critically is the lightest muscle steer. Good